श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम yesterday we are seen and reach the first destination in the spiritual life through living in meditation and that destination was freedom from body identification the burden of this understanding is that we are embodied and body is just a house where we are living like if you go to somebody's house and ask gupta ji is there no he is not there so what do we we go away but if the maid servant tells you no swami ji gupta ji is not there but the furniture is there the house is there the fans are there to whom i am contacting the house or the owner of the house so the embodied who is living the life in the body is definitely someone other than the body unless this becomes the foundation of our thinking will be only lost in this world of achievements and failures so we have seen we achieve this under three conditions under ignorance in deep sleep under compulsion in death and under wisdom when we start living in meditation and for that to begin with we have seen how through the asan we attain freedom from body identification now after this is done the second stage comes then who is this embodied so we are told some name he is a jeeva and we accept it yes he is a jeeva and it is here there is a difference in vedanta and all other paths they don't talk about who is this jiva see like about parmatma they talk satya gnana manantam brahma parmatma hi sachidananda similarly what is jivatma define parmatma is defined as ekameva dvitiya is one without a second so you have some data to go in the direction of parmatma but when we are talking about jiva they don't talk anything simply they say you are a jiva see so who is this jiva who is suffering who is enjoying and who is told that he did lot of mischief in the last life in this life he is harvesting the results of his mischief and producing another uh, generation of mischief so that in the next life he will again suffer or enjoy so this jiva who is going from one life to another life who is this jiva he friends and when we inquire अयम अहम कुतो भवती चिन्वत भगवान रवण महर्षि से इंस्टेड ऑफ बिकमिंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड डिप्रेस डिजेक्टेड इनक्वायर अविचार कृतो बंद विचारेण निवार्यते इट इज सेड द बॉन्डेज इज बिकॉज ऑफ द इनकम्प्लीट थिंकिंग अविचार डज नॉट मीन सस्पेंशन ऑफ थिंकिंग if we stop thinking there is no problem but our thinking is incomplete so avichara kruto bandha and therefore the bondage comes see 
देन विचारेण निवार्यते इट कैन बी निगेटेड ओनली बाय प्रॉपर इन्क्वायरी बट मेनी टाइम्स वी गेट लॉस्ट बिटवीन विचार एंड विकार द डिजायर एंगर फ्रस्ट्रेशन दीज आर विकार अनहेल्दी कंडीशन ऑफ द माइंड विचार इज दैट प्रोसेस बाय विच वी डिस्कवर फ्रीडम फ्रॉम एंटेंगलमेंट इन थॉट्स सो हु इज दिस जीवा देन वी आर टोल्ड जीवा इफ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव टू डिस्क्राइब our reflection in the waters in a lake how will we describe that reflection can we describe that reflection independent of the waters and our face so the reflection is our face plus reflecting media plus reflection in the reflecting media these three things together constitute reflection it is an assembly of three things <clears throat> see friends now out of these three things which is real is the reflection which is seen in the water that is real if that is real can we fish it out when the water is steady reflection is steady when the water is disturbed reflection appears to be disturbed but reflection is not disturbed it appears why it get doesn't get disturbed because it is not it is merely an appearance see and suppose we remove the waters will the reflection go along with the waters if we go away from the waters will the reflection go with us where the reflection goes when our face is not in proximity with the waters where it goes see friends if this example is clear in the same manner jiva is what jiva is paramatma expressing through the reflecting media called as the vidyana maya kosh or the intellect and when the vidyana maya kosh is enfolded in deep sleep there is no reflection there is no chidabhas a reflection is called a chidabhas there is no chidabhas and when there is no chidabhas there is no i when there is no i there is no samsara so the question is <coughs> in deep sleep where the eye goes it can go somewhere if he is there if he is not there where will he go see exactly the same way now bring it to your personal life man parmatma wife reflecting medium reflection husband out of these three which is the real the man is real neither the husband nor the wife if wife goes away the man doesn't die if the reflection goes away there is no loss to the man but who is miserable in life it is the husband who is not he is miserable <coughs> so if this is clear then we have to now sort it out in our personal experience whenever we sit for meditation that time what happens is the i is born i am doing meditation so the moment meditator is born the struggle begins like till such time i want to sleep i is there want is there 
the sleep doesn't begin. When I and the want disappears, sleep begins. Therefore, meditation is no more living as the body, but living through the body. Meditation is no more living as somebody, but living as nobody. Then the question comes, how do we conduct ourselves in this world? We conduct in this world in the same manner like an actor who conducts on the stage with reference to a particular character. See, so he does his job perfectly well. All those who are seeing, they feel that experience that he is miserable, he is happy, he is a king, he is a beggar. But in fact, he is none. Exactly the same way. Meditation is, whatever has to be done, do it and drop everything. Relax. <coughs> For that, proper understanding is necessary. Mechanically sitting in a particular posture, then doing the pranayam or chanting the Lord's name, it becomes a drill. And this drill is necessary in the initial stages. So you come and sit down, so just to collect yourself. So we sit down for maybe half a minute or one minute. Adjust yourself, do the psychological adjustment. We are happy and cheerful. <coughs> the Lord and the Guru is in our heart. At this time we are nobody. We don't plan anything. What we will do after meditation? And now we begin contemplation by playing what it is like being other than the body so it means the possessions and relations have no influence on me. Being nobody I am neither the mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife. Now we start playing. Let me become husband or wife for a few moments. So we have put on the makeup of 
husband or wife now see the thought process the thoughts are pertaining to wife or husband respectively Now if we take this wife or husband as real we will be carried away by the thought process but when we take this husband and wife as merely a role on the stage of life there won't be any disturbances so when we play being a cross space the cross world of cross positions and gross relations do not bother us being the gross space so if you evaluate your own experience the body is dropped from the mind the concept of inside the body and outside the body has disappeared although the body and the contents of the waking world has disappeared yet the thoughts continue to erupt because of the momentum of earlier experiences so here we take a second stand of playing as the chitta akash the mental space like the gross space is not influenced by the gross world similarly the mental space is not influenced by the thoughts
even if the thoughts come, don't be a witness, but remain indifferent. When the thoughts no more influence us, the thoughts die away. They disappear like the wrinkles on the cloth after irony. Like the ice cube disappears in the waters. Jiva is a thought. <coughs> which has no independent existence. That doesn't mean Jiva creates, is created by the thought. No. It is not the absence of the thoughts that is important, but freedom from the thoughts. Here we come to know that pure conscious existence 
with the conditioning of intellect is called as waker with the conditioning of mind dreamer with the conditioning of ahankar deep sleeper with the conditioning of chitta the samadhi person but in fact this conscious existence remains untouched by these four like the man is untouched by the son the husband the father and the son in law in deep sleep where the waker goes in the same manner after the body is dropped the jiva goes nowhere because it is not like husband is a phenomenon similarly jiva is a phenomenon husband is not an individuality jiva is not an individuality like the reflection in the waters is not individuality it is just a phenomenon is effortless undivided homogeneous beginningless unmodifying endless eternal conscious existence is the only truth in this there is neither i nor you
in this approach we are not doing anything we are simply remaining indifferent to every perception every thought presence or absence of thoughts is same knowledge with thoughts is mind knowledge without the influence of any thought is consciousness if we remain indifferent in due time the thoughts dissolve like an ice cube in the waters
in being there are no efforts when you become a meditator you will start struggling meditator is a jiva which is just an illusory appearance the conscious existence that is is the ultimate truth if you observe your body it has become form at the base vertically steady the weight of the body has increased on the base there are no tensions anywhere and you can very clearly distinctly experience this body as one among many there is no logic reason a particular body is mine or a particular body is me living in this conviction that the embodied is not one per body but the one expressing through all the bodies take deep breath a little bit in two or three times and see how the body is now included in the mind move your toes and fingers now the concept that this i is inside the body and the world is outside the body and samsara begins om purnamadah purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namah hari om